Hi guys and welcome back to another very exciting tutorial that we have for you today on More Moxie where we'll be going to take a look at how to recreate this organic look. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to go into your composition, create a new composition, and we're going to call this one Organic, and hit OK. Go up to Layer, New, Solid, and we're going to call this one Element 3D. Go to Effect, Video Copilot, Element. Hit Scene Setup, and we're going to come into here, and we'll be left with absolutely nothing. So we go up to the Model Browser, Primitives, and we're going to change that to Triangle Ball. Now I like to put the environment on as it's a lot easier to see than a black space. Go from going to the presets and in the materials you're going to want to go into pro shaders, organic, and we're going to choose wet lizard. So just drag that on. Now I'm going to choose this as a red colour so I find that's a lot better. You can do what you think looks best. I'm going to go to about there. I'm going to bring the specular down to 0.4 as I feel it's a bit too shiny and then hit OK. So there we go. So now we want to start changing our actual particle. So what you want to do is change the replicated shape to sphere. And then we want to change the particle count from 1 to 50,000. So this is going to render 50,000 of these. So I suggest you have your preview as a half, third, or even a quarter. So once you've typed in 50,000, hit enter. OK, so we've now got 50,000 of these particles. Great. But now we're going to want to start changing them around. So what we do is we go into the scale shape and we change this to 5. We go down to the position noise. Then this is where our animation is going to happen. If we change our noise amount to 40, you'll see that we've started to create the look that we're going for. And we're going to change the size, go into particle look, change the size from 10 to 0 0.3. Now what we want to do is actually start to animate this. So if we go hold Alt and click on the stopwatch, then we're going to write time times 15. We're going to click and it's going to affect this. So now when we render it or when we start moving it, you're going to see that it's starting to move. And that's just what we want. If you want it to change the look, just change the random seed to anything and it's always going to change itself there. And that's great so far. Um, what we want to do is go down to rotation, ra rotation, Go down to the rotation random, and we're going to change the Z, the rotation random uh, to 180. So that really changes all of our particles, and that's great. And then I think that's about right for our animation. So we're going to close that. We're going to make a new camera. Call this camera 50 mil. Hit OK. Go back to layer, new null object. We're going to call this controller, as we're going to use this to change what our camera sees. So on the camera layer, we'll grab the pink whip, and we're going to change that onto the controller. So anything you change on controller will change the camera. So we're going to change the position. So if we hit P, and we make it on a 3D layer, and then if you haven't got that switch, just press toggle switches, and it'll come up. And then we're going to change the Z. We're going to make that a higher value, so we start zooming in holding shift to zoom in a lot further just until we're that's about right now that's good okay now what we want to do is we're going to bring in a light and start lighting this subject I like to use intensity 20 just keep it as light make it a point cast shadows tick that on and hit OK now you can see that our color has completely gone now so we need to change the actual position of our light which is up here. So just by zooming out you'll find your light or it might be in the middle, normally where you've last had one in your project. I think that's good. Right, what we want to do now is pre-render this out and we'll be able to see what we're dealing with. Okay, so there's two seconds. Let's have a look at that. Okay, that looks great. 
Now, what you want to do is go into Element 3D, and this is where you can start to really change your animation. Just by changing the amount and the scale, just a tiny bit, 1.2, you'll see that this really explodes our shape. If I start dragging this out, you'll see what it's going to do. The higher you go, the more it's going to look deformed, and the actual amount of it, if you drag that up, then it's going to make the um, deformations even bigger. So I'm going to keep that at 1, and I'm going to change the amount to... Let's just have a look what you can do. I'm going to put it to 100. It's a bit too much, maybe 75. Even less. Okay. Okay, 50 looks good. So now what you want to do is we're going to change our camera settings. So if we go into the camera options, we're going to turn depth of field on. Now it's blurred out, so what you want to do is we're going to move our camera in using the controller until you see a bit you kind of like. Go to there, and I'm going to move underneath it. That looks good. So now you want to change your focus distance on the camera to be able to see, so you can see the shape itself in crisp focus. I think we're getting close. There it is. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Come back a little bit. Change that to 300. Okay, that looks good. So now what you want to do is make a background. So we're going to go up to Layer, New, Solid. We'll call this Background. And we're just going to hit OK. Go to Effect, Generate, Gradient Ramp. Now you want to select the ramp shape and change that to Radial. And we're going to have the end of the ramp uh, about down on the bottom. So that's pretty much changing most of the shape. Change the start color to a red and the end color to a nice black, like that. And just drag that below your element. So now we've got kind of a red glow coming underneath this, which looks great. If you want to bring those colors down, just drop the opacity a bit. That's about good. And you can play around with the, the position to kind of bring that light up, out a bit. So that looks good there. Okay, great. Now what you want to do is go up to Layer, New Adjustment Layer. Hit Effect. Okay, the color correction curves. And then we're just going to play around with these. We're going to make the darks a bit darker, maybe a little bit of the lights. Bring the red up. I want this shape to be inside. Kind of bring the green a little bit down, maybe the blue as well. Might be a little bit too much red, so we drop the red back down. This is entirely up to you guys. You do what you think looks good for yours. I think that's alright for mine. And then we're pretty much done now. So, as I said, just go into Element, change the scale, I'm put that to 2. As you can see now, when you zoom in, a bit on full, and you'll be able to tell that that looks, that looks great. So, what you want to do for the rendering is change, uh, go into render settings and uh, output, sampling, and aliasing. And then we're going to change the multi sampling, keep that at 8, and to change the super sampling to 8. Only do this when you're rendering out because it's going to make it a lot longer to render when you're editing. But it just gives that extra bit of detail um, in the render, which is really good from Element 3D. So definitely select that on and then go ahead and render it out. And that has been the tutorial, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Leave a comment below, like the video, subscribe for more, and don't forget to check out www.ajmoja.com for more tutorials, more products, more blogs, more reviews on our website. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.